Hey there! Being contacted by Monteverde, they asked me what I would like to review. I selected some pens and one of the pens I, I uh, selected because I thought it was kind of interesting is this one. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is the Laguna. The Laguna comes in three separate finishes, a, a blue, a red and a clear. This is obviously the red, uh, unless you are color, color deficient, then it might not have been obvious, but this is red. Um, and, and that's pretty much it. So I'm going to cover the parts of the pen. I will do a writing sample. I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it. I think this is kind of a fun pen. So, thank you to Monteverde. And let's get started. Okay, so here we go with this Monteverde Laguna. And uh, the Laguna is designed with the natural tones that get blended in lagoons in mind. You can get it in red, blue, and clear. And um, let's 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 talk about it. So you get this this Monteverde box. They've used these boxes for as long as I can remember. And I think it's a nice box, nice simple cardboard sleeve. And you have a black and a blue cartridge. You have a warranty card and filling instructions. And you have some customer support, uh, which is very nice that they put that in. Not every company offers equally good customer support. After all. Okay, now I'm just trying to put this box away so it doesn't turn into a giant mess here. Let's look at what you came here for. The pen. Okay, so the pen is right here. My cables are all getting tangled up. Here we go. Let me zoom in a bit for you. There we go. Thank you for your patience. We will now continue with our regular program. Uh, here is the pen next to him, uh, Pilot Metropolitan. As you can see, they're pretty much the same length. The Laguna, though, is more girthy. Okay, so I have this red one, obviously. This is the red. Is it not the blue? No, it is not the blue. Um, parts of the pen. Top of the cap, completely flat. It is utterly flat, and so is the bottom, so the pen can stand up free. If you like to stand up your pens, this is one to get. Okay, then we have a clip. The clip is bamboo-shaped, and it is spring-loaded. I have feelings about this Jackson Pollock-type dripping thing going on here. I'm not sure if it really is my thing, but it, it's, it's certainly different. The center band that says Monteverde, USA, and Laguna. And then we have this barrel, uh, which is again bamboo shaped. Can you see that? There is a thickened bit there and there. Same thing at the top of the cap. It's a little hard to make out on my little camera LCD screen. I don't know if you can tell, but now you know. So there are these ribs. Now we have this end. Again, the cap is fully flat too, so the pen stands up that way too. Probably wouldn't do it because it might start to drip ink. Um, and, and that's pretty much it. With one, about one and a quarter turn. Yep, there is definitely ink in that nib from standing it upside down. Um, let me just make sure we don't get any spillage accidents here with the emergency napkin that is always at hand while reviewing. Okay, so there we go. Um, pen posts securely, which is quite nice. You get a, let me zoom out a bit, that was a bit much. Um, get a pretty nice size pen. Without it, it's definitely a bit shorter. That's because it's no longer posted. What a time to be alive. Uh, we have the section. Now I can zoom in a bit. We have the section, uh, which seems to taper down a little bit. So it's a little bit tapered. And then we have the silver colored, uh, chrome colored, I should say, Monteverde nib, which has the MV pattern right across uh, the breather hole, we have the Monteverde logo, it says Monteverde USA, it says Monteverde there, we have a plastic feed, and this is the 1.1 millimeter stub nib. This pen is, it looks like the barrel is entirely plastic uh, without any bits and pieces bolted on, so given that the feed is also plastic, I think this might be a candidate for eyedropper filled pens. It also has a lot of threads which you could then uh, this is, by the way, these, these threads, threads that you see here, these are actually for the converter. Um, but there's quite a bit of threads there, which you could put some silicone grease on. I have not tried this. I do not eyedropper pen. I have had pens accidentally be unscrewed one time too many. Um, but theoretically, you could do that. What else is there to say? The pen has a number six Yovo nib, 
and these are a hundred dollars. So before we get into likes and dislikes, let's do a writing sample and given how light this pen is, uh, I will post it and I'll zoom out a bit so you can see what is going on. What have we here? This is a Monteverde Laguna. This is a 1.1 millimeter stub and the ink is Monteverde Ruby Red that was also kindly supplied by Monteverde. The writing experience with the pen is a pleasant one. I like the, the I like the way it writes. It's pretty smooth. I mean, it is an untipped stub, but I I like it. It's it's a pleasant experience. And it does keep up well even with very fast, ridiculously fast writing. Um, on the wetter end of things, and of course, because of the way the nib is shaped, you get this natural line variation, this is without any pressure, um, which gives a light calligraphic effect to your handwriting, which I think is, uh, is always fun. Um, pressure. Why would you put pressure on it? It's not a flex nib. You can get an omni-flex nib if you want to use this with flex. But you get natural line variation on the 1.1 stub anyway. Now, for those of you who enjoy such a thing, reverse writing with a stub, usually not very successful because it's flat on this end, it's flat on that end. So, you know, it doesn't really necessarily make much of a difference. Um, but this is what we have. It starts to run dry. You do get a slightly thinner bit of writing out, but it, it out of it, but it, it starts to run dry very quickly. So I'm not sure how successful this truly is. So I think what we need to do is first of all give a very kind thank you to Monteverde for sending me this, and then we should have a little bit of a chippity chat about what I like. And what I don't like about this pen. What do I like, what do I not like about this Laguna? Well, I think it has some things going for it. I mean, it's it's not a super cheap pen. A hundred dollars for a steel nib, cartridge converter, and this type of body, I, I think is certainly not cheap. Uh, but I do think it has some nice things going for it. The spring-loaded clip, I think it's quite nice. The overall look, well, it's, it's certainly not for everyone, but if you really like bamboo, then obviously this is your pen. Uh, I like that it posts very securely, and because it's all the sort of plastic, uh, it's, it's nice to have that little bit of added weight to it, otherwise it becomes really, in my mind, a little short, but that's just for the size of my hands, a little short, uh, and really light, so that being able to post it does add a nice, just a little bit of heft to it, which I think is, is very pleasant. I like that. I like the translucency because I can hold this up to the light and I can see how, you probably can't see this very well, but I can see very clearly how much ink I have left. Uh, I think that is a very nice touch. Certainly not necessary, but I think in a cartridge converter pen, it's just, just a little bonus. Uh, I like that you can pick between red, blue and clear, you know, something for everyone. This This sort of I don't know, Jackson Pollock type dripping uh, finish might not work for everyone. Uh, it would work, this one would work well on Halloween though. But having said that, if you like an all clear, then there's an all clear. So I like all that. And the, the, the one question I have, and it's not really a, a very negative thing, but the one question I have is why bamboo? I, I, I'm not sure I understand the bamboo theme if the pen is called the Laguna. If it would be called the bamboo, then I would understand it immediately. But if it would be called the bamboo, there wouldn't be a picture of a lagoon on it. So I'm not fully clear on that point. Having said that, I think it's a nice pen. Most importantly, it's a nice writer. It wrote well, it wrote well out of the box, didn't have to do anything. A uh, fun pen to use, so I think it's really nice. A very kind thank you to Monteverde for sending me. I hope this was useful, and uh, I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye.